Hi, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my trailer. Uh, this is a six and a half by 12, and it has an extra foot of height. It was made by ProLine in New Hampshire. Uh, that hatch there is because I have a window air conditioner that comes out, which I'll show you in a little bit. I pull this with this Pacifica here. Uh, my main purpose for this uh, trailer is for us to travel in the winter because uh, we live at a lake in Michigan and whenever bad weather is predicted, we just uh, throw our stuff in the trailer and head south. Usually go to Florida, Mississippi, or Alabama. Last year we went to Arizona and got caught in all that nasty snow. Went through Texas, it was 27 degrees in San Antonio. So uh, there's the driver's side and the electric hookup for the 30 amp. I had 30 amp installed in here. I also had it built with the with the diamond plate on the sides, just I thought that adds a little bit of uh, nice looks to it. And um, it is insulated and had the ceiling finished and I had some E-Track put in it, 30 amp service, had a window put in the back here with a slider to open. And uh, we put our bed, I, I just put some bed slats across two by fours that run on the e-track system and then everything else is just kind of mounted on the wall there. I had an extra electric fireplace and bought some unfinished cabinets from Menards and hung them up there. And uh, right now it's not finished out uh, as far as wall coverings and color and all that because we're trying to get the floor plan down that works for us. And, and I just keep reusing things over and over again until we get this worked out and then I'll try to make it more aesthetically nice on the inside. Um, <clears throat> but we just got this in October. So before that we traveled around uh, the winter before in a full size Chevy van, but it was causing me problems by how hard it rode. But yet the minivan was just too small. So I had this built up the top. I have, oh, I have a uh, backup camera I mounted up there. And uh, then I have this Overland Systems uh, Batwing awning. It's a 180. Um, what I didn't realize at the time when I bought it was because of the extra height, I can't reach it. So I have to carry a ladder to deploy and close it which I find to be kind of a hassle, but the extra height in the trailer is worth it, I suppose. Okay, there's our door. Had an RV door put on it with a screen door. Okay, so generally when we pull up somewhere, we can be set up like in just a couple of minutes. Um, I, I don't set up that much outside because it's just not our style that much, but uh, let's see. I usually have two of these chairs in here, but right now I've got one up on the deck at the house here. So, okay, I, there's our fridge. I mounted it some uh, styrofoam uh, packing material that came with a tablet is underneath and it helps with the vibration so that it doesn't make so much noise when the compressor comes on. And it worked really remarkably well. Uh, let's see, that's my hat rack. And uh, I don't have my hat up there right now, but it's in the house. This is a slider window. And underneath here, I put this little leftover table that we had and put a jackery down there. I used the Jackery 1000 for the refrigerator and for my CPAP machine. And then there's the fireplace, the bed, and this little rack thing here is where I set the CPAP machine. Uh, this is another old, uh, uh, what do you call the tables that stacks up? Anyway, I just put one of those things on here and it mounts up and we can sit in here and both have coffee or we can sit on the bed and we usually watch TV on tablets. So, and then uh, 
I've got two hooks here plus one over on that side. And then Deborah has three hooks there. I have to sleep on this side because of the CPAP machine. I need a place for it. Um, <clears throat> that's the ladder I use for uh, when I need to do something tall up in the out on the outside of the trailer. Um, there's another that all this is scrap wood except for um, that cabinet down there was scrap when I when we moved into our house. It was there. This is all scrap wood except I bought that little sink on Amazon and put it on there and it's just got a couple of, it's got a five gallon bucket gray water and I'm working on a system to be able to drain it without taking the tank outside, but uh, I don't have that quite finished yet, but that's why it has the little spigot on it. Um, there's the air conditioner and I just popped the hatch and then it's on drawer slides so it goes in and out and uh, then the hatch works like to protect it from rain or whatever from falling on the AC unit and these are a couple of old hockey sticks I had that have a bunch of autographs on them from players because um, I used to be a season ticket holder with the Indy Fuel and so that's the whole team signature and there's another whole team signature full size stick. Um, we have a microwave, coffee pot, toaster oven. These things all run off that Pecron. Uh, the Pecron also runs the 12 volt in the trailer. The, and I have a, some lights up on this pole that I put across. And let's see, there's our sink. And there's where all the 12 volt stuff comes out of the Jackery into that. But then when the trailer's plugged into the car, it charges this Pecron. Or it also, if I plug into, um, if I plug in outside to the shore power, then it charges up both power stations. And, uh, but we don't tend to have too much trouble with the electricity. It seems like we've got plenty to last us, so it works out okay. And let's see. Then come back around here to the front. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for looking.